Throughout my journey of finding my purpose in life, I have always had a battle and an enemy who brings me down. Myself. My name is Sofia Velasco. I am a proud Mexican-American who can speak three languages. I have been blessed with a beautiful but crazy family. I have traveled to many mesmerizing places and seen so many new cultures. All these aspects of my life mark who I am today and what makes me unique. I am a person who overthinks every scenario, which can sometimes be helpful but stressful. When life gets the worst in me, I always try to forget my emotions and pretend I am happy. Being alive for 18 years had made me realize how, I'm not, how I should not be focused on the past or the future, but live in the moment. For many people, going to the mall, the movies, restaurants, and talking to people are everyday activities, but for me, it is a struggle to do so. These basic activities due to my overthinking, leads to overthinking, which leads to my anxiety. I always tend to overthink every situation, big or small, which causes me to stress and always see the worst. For example, in basketball, I'm always anxious for a game to start and start to freak out because I imagine the worst happening to me. The whole crowd judging me if I miss the shot or if I make a fool out of myself, thinking everyone will laugh at me and if I don't do my best and make my team look weak. All these fake scenarios running through my head keep replaying and make me anxious. However, just because I'm always overthinking everything doesn't mean I always get a negative outcome. The aftermath of when I have achieved a situation that gives me anxiety is feeling of success knowing that I overcame my anxiety. I feel proud of myself for not letting my anxiety get the better half of me. Sometimes in life, one has to get comfortable being uncomfortable. This means push to, push to your limits in order to be acclimated to new situations. No matter how hard I try, I always put people's happiness before my own. I always struggle to bring my happiness from myself and not from other people. I tend to make people laugh and knowing I made them smile makes me happy. I shouldn't rely on other people's happiness, but I do. If I know one of my friends or anyone around me is having a bad day, I do my best to make them laugh, even if I am having a rough time in life or I feel sad. I put my emotions aside and care for them first. Not a lot of people know what my heart and my mind is going through in certain times, except myself. I don't really like to talk about how I'm, how I'm feeling with other people because it can influence their emotions too. The last thing I want to do is make people sad. People assume that I am okay because I have a smile on my face. The truth is that I too have bad days myself. Although I don't really show it, I do cry and I do get frustrated. I act like my life is amazing by putting on a fake facade. My only fear is myself and not wanting to open up to people because I'm scared that people will leave me and never come back. I prefer to make people smile and make them happy because people can't complain about happiness. In all my life experience, I do believe that the most precious, precious gift is time. One can't go back to and rewind to when they had their first kiss or when they first cried. We will never get these moments back, so cherish them while they are happening. happening. I, re I regretted not paying attention to the small things my grandma did for me before she moved. I wish I would have spent more time with her and just appreciated the time I did have with her. I believe that every moment in life has a purpose and one needs to better understand, one needs to be present to better understand that purpose. I am shaped by my overthinking, my reliance on other people's happiness, and the ability to live in the moment. Each one plays an important role in how I live my daily life and how I make my decisions. I have my ups and downs, but it's always like a constant circle, a constant loop of overthinking, but still trying to live in the moment. This is who I am, and this will always be part of me. However, I can work on them and continue to progress as an individual. Everything in life happens for a reason. There is a reason why I want to live in the present, because I want to relish every moment I have with my family and friends, because they might not be here in the future. Overthinking will always be part of me, and I cannot let that go. These aspects will always shape me, and each will continue to evolve in their own ways, as I evolve in my own person. I will never stop learning who I am and what makes me unique. Shout out to all the teachers I have had. We did it. I know it's hard to believe I'm finally graduating. Don't be too bored without me. Miss Tanya, thank you for always letting me rant to you and always being straightforward with you. I'm going to miss our daily rants and talks. Thank you for putting up with me these six years. Happy birthday. Ms. Beshke, outdoor ed would have been different if you weren't there. You made it fun and never, and never was afraid to attempt new things. Thank you for being one of the most caring teachers I know. Miss No, AP Bio was so much fun. Interpret this how you will, but honestly, I'm sad that I only had you for a year. Your class was hard, but you were always there for me and willing to help me. This one's for you. What do you call an acid with an attitude? Amino acid. <laughs> Ms. Galvez. Thank you for getting tacos with me and always being available when I needed someone to talk to. I will miss walking up to your class and just randomly start roasting each other. But don't worry, I'll, follow, I fi I'll finally follow you back on Instagram. Coach Mo, I appreciate your sincereness and never hesitating to tell me the truth. Your honesty, your honesty means a lot to me. Thank you for always believing in me and not my running abilities. 
the girls basketball team. All those times I wanted to quit and give up, each one of you had a positive influence on me and made it impossible for me to quit. Thank you for making memories with me and making the basketball team feel like, mem like family. I love you all, keep your heads up and go ball out. JP, I'm sorry I didn't like you when I first met you, but I'm glad we started to get along and make unforgettable memories, like that Vaughn's car ride and there was a spider in the car. Thanks for never failing to make movie references with me and not being the only one looking crazy. Fight on, Trojan. Kira, it's crazy to think that it hasn't even been a, a year since I met you. I'm grateful for our friendship and our deep conversations. You're truly a special person in my life that I never want to lose. I love you, Toto. Bella, these past months getting to know each other be better have been amazing. I'm so proud of you for bring, being brave in what you have accomplished these 10 months. Be believe in yourself and your worth. Let's go for that 60%. Tatum, our friendship is like no other. Although there are moments we don't really talk, we both know that we are there for each other. When I need you, you never hesitate to be there for me. These four years went by so fast, it's not fair. I will miss you so much next year. I can't wait to see you ball out. Miss Tracy, here's to, th here's to these long three years working together. I couldn't have asked for a better ACE teacher to be paired up with. I know I'm a lot to handle, but honestly, if you can handle me, then you are ready, ready for Cora and baby Hudson. I wouldn't, have been there, I wouldn't have been where I am today in making a big decision on attending the University of Michigan. Words cannot express how fortunate I am to have a teacher like you. I really miss you next year. College life is going to be different with no Tracy. I hope you're not crying right now. <laughs> Gabby, our friendship is one everyone hopes to have. I luckily have a best friend that I am proud to show off. From the moment our friendship started, I knew we were going to be trouble. Never doubt yourself because you are truly, you are truly capable of doing anything if you put your mind to it. Gus, thank you for teaching me everything when we were little. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be playing basketball. I can't wait to see what you accomplish in five years. You have a big heart and I couldn't ask for a better big brother. Always looking out for me. Maria, I know we both get on each other's nerve and annoy each other so much it's not even funny. Thank you for all those spontaneous adventures we took at night. I will never forget them and can't wait to tell our kids. You're such a beautiful person with such a beautiful voice and you just need to believe that you can do it because we all believe in you. Mom, when I'm sad, angry, or up to something, you're always one of the first persons to notice. You always know how I'm feeling and I don't need to tell you anything. Thank you for always, t thank you for always taking me places and singing together. Dad, you've always been there for me through thick and thin. I'm sorry I'm not very affectionate with you, but know that I love you and I value our relationship so much. I am beyond grateful for all the opportunities you have given me. Thank you for everything. Aunts and uncles, thank you for always coming out and being my biggest supporters. I love you all.